Children of God, nobody else knows this just as more than me or basically any prayer warrior. You ever notice you, you, you set aside some time to pray and there's always distraction. And I'm talking about, I starting to see that more normal than, than usual. And I started asking, started asking myself, wait a minute now. And, and you, you got to have enough discernment to start seeing some stuff in the spirit. You be like, wait a minute. This whole two hours I was not praying or doing any, anything. And I had no distraction. But now as soon as I about to start praying, someone sent a text or someone calling you or something starts coming up. And then it again tomorrow. And then again the next day. And you exactly when you set aside time to pray. And I sit back and I started saying to myself, This is too uh this is too timely. And then I started seeing in the spirit Satan trying to stop you from praying. And you know, child of God, you have to get to that point where you start seeing in the spirit like that, you know. Sometimes you have to get past you, you, you have to get past these layers and start seeing what's really going on. You gotta start discerning what's really going on in these situations. Because outwardly it looks like someone sent a tax message or you got to go to the food store, or you got to do this, or you got to do this. It looks like things coming up that you got to do. But then the Holy Spirit revealing to me is the sat satanic distractions. And I know a lot of children of God who don't use the Holy Ghost, you'd be like, wait a minute now. If you got to answer your text or the phone and it's important, how is that a satanic distraction? This is why you need this word, because you need to see Satan trying to stop you from praying. That's the first thing. This is the first thing. You cannot get this word if you cannot see Satan trying to stop you from praying. Satan trying to stop you from praying. No, I'm, I'm not asking you to focus on what the distractions are. You need to see Satan is the one who's trying to stop you from praying. See, because if you can't receive that, then you're not going to receive this. Satan, why is Satan trying to stop you? Because, because he realized that he can't stop God from answering. But you got to first receive that Satan is the one who's trying to stop you from praying. Now, I don't know, maybe because I have to do a lot of prayers on YouTube and I pray in a lot. That, you know, if you was a child of God only praying once a week, you probably would, this probably wouldn't matter to you. But if you was a child of God who's praying daily, you're going to get Satan disrupt, disrupting you. You're going to see some weird things popping up exactly around your prayer time and you be like but you wasn't doing anything for 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 a whole five four or five hours before time to pray and there was no distractions and then as soon as you time to pray five six seven distractions now let's say that you as a child of god received that it's satan who's trying to stop you from praying then the next thing is this Sometimes you have to discern why Satan trying to stop you from praying. Satan don't want God to answer some things you're praying for. Now, we got to understand some things about Satan, our enemy. See, sometimes a lot of God's people have this narrow-minded thinking of Satan and his demons and how they operate. Do you know that Satan and his demons hate every human being alive? Worse if you save. They don't like the human race. Whether you worship in Satan or not, they still don't like you. 
Worse if you say it. Double worse. Triple worse if you warfare and, and praying and fasting and speaking in tongues and praising. Let's go to Daniel 10. You can read the whole chapter. That reveals to us some things. This is what Satan and his demons, this is, this is, listen, this is the far extent of what Satan and his demons will go through to block God from answering your prayer. We see that Daniel was praying, couldn't get the answer. The angel finally got to him after 21 days and told him, listen, the demon was blocking me, you know, Daniel. And it opened my eyes. It opened my spirit eyes to realize. I started realizing. I feel that I'm little old me. You feel that you little old you. You got a million. You got millions of people on this planet. Why Satan can send an angel to block you from getting an answer from God? Think about that. I know that God cares about, about me and he cares about you as an individual, right? But it seems as if Satan himself, I believe as soon as Satan, as soon as you get born again, Satan assigns a couple demons to always be attacking you. I believe he assigns some, certain demons because... If you, if every individual Christian look at their lives, all of us get attacked. And demons are not like Father God. They can't be everywhere at the same time. So if I'm being attacked and you being attacked and that one over there being attacked and this one and this country being attacked, it's obviously that certain demons are assigned to us. And I believe this is what the issue is. Certain demons are assigned to us and they are they are being sent to attack and to block. And this is why, this is why now as children of God, we'll understand why each country has a principality over it. This is the reason. Even if they're not assigned to us, this is the purpose of the principality over every individual country to block. To block God's people from getting anything from Father God. But this is some things that I want us to reveal and to, 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 to show God's people. Satan trying to stop you from praying. Here's why. Let's look at some scriptures for a minute. This is why you have to know the, this is why you have to know the word. So you could know what you what your rights are. Listen, 1 John 5 and 14, and with this confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us, and he will do it. To know God's will, you, you got to pray, so he could reveal to you his will. When he reveals you his will, you got to pray that back to him, and then he will and then you will see it manifest in your life. If Satan could stop you from praying, Satan will stop God from hearing you, not hearing you. He will stop it from happening and coming to pass in your life. Because God waiting for you to pray, to pray to him about it. The scripture says that's how God will answer us. God hear us. But God, if you don't pray, God need to hear us so he can answer. Now let me explain this. Right now where you are, you could say, Father God, I need help. I need, I need this. I need that. Right? First of all, that's not prayer. Jesus had to teach his disciples how to pray. If all you have to do to pray was just Talk to Father God. Just say something to God like this. Jesus don't need to teach you that. Okay? When you pray, 
Pray consists of thanksgiving, prayers, intercessory, petition, forgiveness. That's prayer. When you pray like this, when you follow this way, it's considered to be prayer. When you ask, when you include God's will in that, he hears you and he will answer you. We have confidence in that because that's scripture. James 4 and 3. Ye ask and receive not because you ask amiss. Okay? Amiss means you didn't ask according to his will. Like 1 John 5 and 14 says. You have to ask according to his will. If, if you don't, then you're asking amiss. Now, James 4 and 3 gives us confidence because it reveals to us it reveals us some things you have to ask ask in prayer so if Satan could block you or hinder you from asking in prayer or from just praying to God his will he blocking it from manifesting he blocking your prayer he blocking God from being able to answer you simply because he blocking you and hindering you from praying this is how it makes sense. Follow this. You have to understand the system. You want God to answer you? You have to pray. In prayer, you should ask and pray according to God's will. That has to be done in prayer. According to scriptures, once we do that like that, God will answer us. So if Satan block you from praying, you're not praying God's will, and you're not asking God in prayer. It's going to block God. From, it, it, God's not going to answer you. Would, would, would ye desire can't come to pass. Because you're not praying it. God not giving you anything. Because you're not asking in prayer. So I just wanted to encourage God's people with this. We must understand. Do not. Let Satan stop you from praying. God bless.